Portuguese Golden Residence Permit Program Entry Inspection Documents After the applicant has confirmed their final travel itinerary, copies of the following documents need to be provided to the agency while the original files should be brought to Portugal. The documents that need to be provided to the agency 2.1.1 Application Form 1. Applicants are required to complete the basic information of the main applicant and the dependents in English under the guidance of the agency. At the end of the application form, the applicant must sign in his, her native language, and make sure all information provided is accurate. 2. The applicant needs to send scanned copies of the completed information forms to the agency, who will forward them to the lawyers. 3. After the applicant completes the purchase of the property, the lawyer will prepare all the purchase and application documents for the main applicant and their dependents, according to the information form. 2.1.2, Entry Inspection Notice. The agency will summarize all of the information about the inspection that the applicant needs to know, including, information on the local climate, documents they need to carry, notes for the inspection trip, the trip itinerary, information of local scenic spots, and the contact information of the local staff that will accompany them. Remind the applicant of the contents of the notice, and ask the applicant to sign and send a scanned copy back to the agency to ensure that the applicant is fully aware of the contents. 2.2, if the applicant transfers and enters Portugal, the materials need to be carried, when the applicant transfers and enters Portugal, the applicant need to carry materials to deal with some emergencies, such as inquiries by customs officers or other staff, the materials including 2.2.1, the ticket itinerary in English, a document reflecting the actual itinerary of the applicant, issued when the ticket was purchased. 2.2.2, invitation letter issued by Portuguese party, this document is the same letter when applying for a Schengen visa. 2.3 The documents that must be provided to the lawyer after applicant confirms purchase of property in Portugal. 2.3.1, copies of the entire passport. 2.3.2, certificate of residential address. 1. If the applicant's ID card shows the applicant's detailed address, then provide a copy of the ID card and its English translation. For example, on the ID card of a mainland of China applicant, detailed address information can be found on the back side. 2. If the applicant's identity card does not show the applicant's detailed residential address, the applicant needs to provide a copy of the following forms of proof of address and its English translation, such as utility bills and landline phone bills, bank statements, property bills etc. For example, a Hong Kong identity card does not show the address information, so the applicant needs to provide one of the above documents as proof of his, her current address. 2.3.3, applicant's proof of income proof of income requires an original version, in both English and Chinese, and use the company's letterhead, the proof also must be stamped with official seal and signed by a witness. The agency will provide a template to assist the applicant. Note, after the purchase is made in Portugal, the above documents will be used by the applicant, with the assistance of their tax representatives and lawyers, to apply for a Portuguese tax number and Portuguese bank accounts. 3.1, applicants need to sign the following documents at the solicitor's office after purchasing property in Portugal. 3.1.1, the promissory agreement, the property sale and purchase contract, must be signed by the applicant and the developer in the presence of a witness, the lawyer. 3.1.2, notary certificate. 3.1.3, Certificate of Entitlement for a Golden Residence Permit. 3.1.4, Legal Services Agreement. 3.1.5, Tax Representative Service Agreement. 3.1.6, The Statement of Tax Representative Accepts. 3.1.7, Golden Residence Permit Application and Tax Authorization. 3.1.8, Golden Residence Permits Application for Integrity Statement. Note, if the applicant made a purchase domestically, the lawyer will post all the documents that must be signed by the applicant to the agency. The applicant must sign all the documents in the presence of a witness, a Portuguese lawyer in Beijing, and mail the original documents to the law firm in Portugal. After the applicant returns home, Portugal returns the following document. 1. Tax Number 1. After the purchase of the property, the applicant will send the documents to the tax representative, including a copy of the ID card and its English translation, a copy of the passport. The tax representative will then draft the relevant documents, including tax representative service agreement, 
the tax authorization, the statement of tax representatives agreement, all of which will require the signature of the applicant. 2. All applicants aged 18 years and above are required to apply for a tax number and hire a tax representative. Applicants who are under 18 years of age are typically not required to do so, but if the applicant's children are enrolled in schools in Portugal, the child is also required to apply for a tax number. 2. Bank account. The main applicant needs to apply for a personal bank account in a local bank of Portugal. After the tax representative has assisted them in obtaining a tax number, a lawyer will submit the applicant's documents to the bank manager, and then assist the applicant to open a bank account. 3. Title Deed It is proof that the applicant holds permanent legal ownership of the land. According to the provisions of the Portuguese law, the original deed must be kept in the Portuguese National Notary Office, and the applicant can obtain a notarized copy of the title deed from a notary public, which will hold the same power as the original version. 4. Proof of Land Registration 5. Proof of Property Payment The statement issued by a bank in Portugal proving the applicant has made a payment of at least 500,000 euros to purchase real estate, 